the efforts of Sumashur at Hefei would sweep away the failure of his family's previous attacks on Wu. Further, Sumashur placed all of the blame for their defeat at Dongxing at the hands of his brother Suma Zhao. These actions won him the loyalty of many influential officers. As a result, the fame and influence of Suma Shur managed to surpass that of even his legendary father. Wei belonged to Suma Shur now, and its emperor was nothing more than a figurehead. It was then that Zhang Wei led Shu to rise up once again and strike at Wei. For in the eyes of Zhang Wei, Wei was still a villainous entity that stood in the way of a world of virtue. Ambition. Virtue. Shu fought for ideals rather than the tangible. To Suma Shur and his quest to reach the pinnacle of power, there could be nothing more disdainful. Suma Shur dispatched Suma Zhao, Guo Huai, Deng Ai, and several of his best troops to Tian Shui. The hammer of the new conqueror was about to come crashing down on the pathetic Shu forces. Lord Deng Ai, I just wanted to say... <coughs> you cannot fight in this state! Lord Xiao Yuan did a lot for me in the past. But when he was killed, I was unable to repay that debt. So I have to keep Wei safe. It was the only thing he wanted. <coughs> Come what may. Zhang Wei's desire to protect Shu borders on obsession. That kind of man is dangerous. Is that so? I find that I can relate to such a man. I'm sure he simply wants to repay an obligation to somebody close to him. Lord Suma Zhao is a changed man. He's decided not to rely on Lady Yuanji all the time. I think it was the cold shoulder treatment that did it. Ah, the joys of youth. How we all learn and grow. What exactly is this land of benevolence and virtue they're always talking about? No idea. Sounds like a load of idealistic garbage to me. Young people these days. Next, they'll say they haven't heard of Lord Cao Cao. The men of Shu never learn. Looks like we'll have to teach them another lesson. We are in a time of change. New heroes are being born. Oh, my lord. Your wife sends a message. She says she has a warm bed waiting for you when you return. I wonder how Lord Dong Ai drew his maps. They don't run at all, even in the rain. Shaho Ba is still our enemy for betraying Wei. However, he is General Shaho Yuan's son. My sole duty is to protect the kingdom of Wei, even if it means facing the son of our former friend. No, that is why I must do it. I must slay him for the sake of Wei. That's the spirit, Lord Guo Huai. We're with you all the way. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. I am glad to hear it. <laughs> it is remarkable, my lord, how you look so ill, yet fight so well. Lord Suma Shur is the man of the moment, and yet his brother is still but a wastrel. Well, at least they seem to get along well with each other. Wang Ling was your brother-in-law, yes? 
You were lucky to avoid punishment, my lord. I hear many in Shu oppose this war. Zhang Wei is on shaky ground. Shah Ho Ba's at home in Shu now. It's been so long since he defected. Everyone knows the story of Lord Guo Huai's wife and how Lord Suma Yi showed her mercy. Her brother was the traitor Wang Ling, and yet Lord Suma Yi chose to overlook that. He was the one man who had the greatness to rule this land. Lord Suma Zhao is leading the vanguard. Lady Yuanji will be beside herself with worry. I wonder if Lord Suma Zhao is okay. It has been quite a while since he went on ahead. I don't know. Although we should get going ourselves pretty soon. I bring urgent news! Lord Suma Zhao! He... he's been attacked by the Shu army and is surrounded! What? Where is he? He's at a garrison to the southwest of here. Lord Guo Huai! Yes, we must hurry to Lord Suma Zhao's aid. Lord Suma Chao needs our help. We must send troops to the southwest. I do desire nothing more than to protect the honorable kingdom of Wei. We are at your service. Fight me now! For glory! My lord, may the heavens favor you. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. The skill you displayed on the battlefield inspires us all to carry out our duty. Enemy reinforcements are already on their way. Just when we had Sima Zhao within our grasp. The battle has only just begun. We withdraw for now. I thought I was dead. Thanks a lot. We are both men of way. I need no thanks. We must hurry back to the main camp. Impressive. I suppose this means I need to get out there and do something, too. Well done! Most impressive! I won't throw away my life for Shu. Huh. How about I fight the way from now on? Deal? Mm. All right, we're agreed. Zhang Wei has withdrawn to Nanan Castle. If we can secure the castle, Shu will surely surrender. 
My lord, the enemy continues to grow in number. Considering Shu's resources, they shouldn't be able to mobilize many more. Stand your ground and face me. You have proven yourself a raving beast. Now I shall cage you. For the future of Wei, your life must end here. You don't get it. It was Wei that tried to kill me. Or would you rather I say, I will kill you in the name of Shu? It pains me. Your father must be rolling his grave. I don't think so. If I know my father, he'd be smiling. Though I may be adept at fleeing a battle, that doesn't mean I'm proud of it. <laughs> Come on, Do You really have it in you to kill me? That is the intention. Hard as it is. Then get on with it. say that was a most unexpected turn of events shoo cannot afford to lose you I will hold them off Lord Guo Huai! You're dead! Lord Guo Huai's dying will must be carried on by us. We will bring victory to Wei. My lord, I swear upon my life, I will keep Wei safe. My lord, let's finish them off. The enemy main camp is west of here. Begin making defensive preparations. We will need them soon.
such strength. Until next time, when I can return stronger. I shall slay any who would come between me and my duty. I have captured this area on behalf of our forces. This one is heroic! I guess I need to pick up the pace. The enemy is fighting with surprising vigor, considering their numbers. You believe your wits are a match for mine? A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. 